their body structurally sound, or do we have twerking that's getting in the way of allowing the baby to descend? Um, oftentimes, you know, with an adjustment, you're releasing that tension, and it allows the baby to drop down and get on the cervix and, and um, start the labor that way. Uh, and then the third thing is, because the adjustment is releasing that flow of information, if we had a blockage, let's say the baby has dropped down on the cervix, but there's a subluxation that's blocking that information from getting to the brain. The brain doesn't realize that it needs to start kicking out the oxytocin to get the contraction started. So by re um, fixing the subluxations, we're restoring that communication so, you know, the baby may be ready to be born, but there's just a blockage in communication. As soon as you release that blockage, everything gets started. Um, that's another very common thing that people talk about going to the chiropractor, getting adjusted, and then they go into labor. Um, in my own birth story, uh, he just was not getting into position properly. and. Um, when Linda checked me, I mean, she thought I was ready to give birth, and she checked me, and I was at two centimeters. And um, the cervix was actually posterior; it was it was behind his head, so he wasn't right on top of it. And she did a couple of things, and then I continued laboring, and I, I actually sent my husband to go get our my our adjusting equipment um, because, as luck would have it, I had left it at the office. And when he got back, he adjusted me. And literally, as soon as he adjusted me, I just felt something just let loose. And it really scared me because it was such a powerful sensation. And uh, I had one more contraction, and Linda checked me, and I had gone from two to seven. So, you know, that's just an example of how just helping the baby to get, you know, and, and when she checked me, he was now um, centered over top of the cervix so that I could continue on. So that's just one example of how just having your structure off can get in the way of your labor. And you know, if I had been in a hospital and had, you know, I could I could get adjusted in the hospital, but you know, if I um, had been there and had labored for that long and was still at two, they'd be saying, oh, pitocin, let's speed things up. Well, that doesn't change the structure being off and that putting the baby in the wrong position. So by, by going to just that basic level, um, you know, you can help labor along so well. So well. Any, any questions? I don't have a question, but I have a testimony for you. Yeah. I was at a home birth with Linda, and um, the labor went fine, or the birth went fine with that. And, um, the little boy, the baby boy, he was born, you know, he was labored like this, and he was born like this, and he came out and he had no muscle tone in his arm whatsoever. He just, one, you know, they're born and they hunch up like this and hold their hands real close, and this baby, his little hand was, his extremity was pink, but he was just limp, his little arm was just limp, and we called Trish, and she was there, um, maybe an hour later, hour and a half tops. And she adjusted him, and he was so comfortable when she was adjusting him. He never cried. He never made any, you know, was never in trouble whatsoever. And within 10 minutes of her adjusting him, he had his little hand up, and he was moving his fingers, and he was much happier. So she, she was really good. She was there really good. <laughs> Might take longer now. That's probably the four baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> BB. Yes. <laughs> BB. <laughs> Um, I suppose a, li a little bit more about my birth story, um, you know, I had the adjustment, that made a, a huge difference, and then also just working with all the homeopathics, I mean, I ended up, by the time he was born, uh, I had labored for 45 hours, uh, and, you know, it, it was amazing, um, you know, when we got to the hospital, and, and Linda was kind of commenting on this, how alert I was, you know, you would think after being awake for that long and, and laboring for that long that, um, you know, I, I had my full wits about me, all of my, you know, through the entire labor, all of my vitals stayed great, the baby 